We are watching all the fallout from Donald Trump saying this weekend that he'll be arrested. He mean, that means he could become the first president ever arrested and indicted. The DA in New York appears to be poised to wrap up this probe, and that means either they reach a declination, they don't charge him, or when the probe ends, they do. An indictment of Trump would be significant and literally historic. Here's how the New York Times puts it. He would be fingerprinted. He would be photographed. And based on the Truth Social post over the past few days, the threat clearly has Trump rattled. I've told you, if you've been watching earlier, you're just joining us now at the top of the 5 p.m., Mr. Michael Cohen, who was down on the premises today where the grand jury was meeting, joins me live. That's in our next hour, so you may be interested to stick around for that. But we have a lot going on now, Maya Wiley and others standing by. Where we are right now is a nation that is watching a president, a former president, say he's going to be indicted. That may or may not be true, but that's what he says. Then you have his lawyers down in Georgia attacking a case where, and this is important, he hasn't been charged at all. So that itself is a little unusual. They filed a motion attacking the Atlanta DA's basically probe and report up to this point. So that's the first official filing, in a way, by Trump's team in the probe. We've heard from his lawyers. We know they're out there. But this is drawing questions about why they're doing it right now. The new filing is Donald Trump basically trying to have his lawyers move in that probe for what exact reasons only they know. But their argument is that this whole thing has been unfair. They take about 50 pages, plus 400 pages of other exhibits and evidence, to argue that the special grand jury is basically tainted and unconstitutional. And they say that thus the DA should be disqualified from any further investigation or prosecution in this matter. They say the DA has been political. One section pulls, for example, this is an image right here from the filing itself, where they say that this cartoon that you see is sort of in black and white, courtesy of one of her campaign Twitter accounts, depicts her, the DA, fishing, a recently subpoenaed witness out of a swamp. And they say that kind of cartoon, a political cartoon, could influence witnesses, it's not appropriate in this kind of investigation of this significance, and that it undercuts the idea that this is an independent and apolitical probe. They also take aim at public comments that you may recall by the grand jury four person and comments of five other juries have made in the local press and which have been reported nationally. The filing saying, quote, collectively, those jurors statements reveal a tainted process incapable of producing valuable evidentiary material. And throughout that four person's media tour and the subsequent statements of additional grand jurors, it became apparent this grand jury was improperly supervised or worse improperly instructed from the outset. As for the DA side, no comment yet in public from them. Just this afternoon, there was an update, though, in the probe. ABC News reporting the prosecutors in the DA's office requested an interview with Trump attorney Christina Bob. It's not clear what information they hope to gain, whose role in Trump's handling of classified documents is under review in the different federal DOJ probe. Reports are that Bob plans to deny that request, according to her lawyer, John Loro. One echo here is Trump's lawyers getting lawyers.